said, life is sweeter when you share it with friends. You said that? Uh, no, I read it in a book. <laughs> but, oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm on, I'm on. <coughs> Hello. Hello, and welcome to the Whitesboro Public Library story time. I'm Nuru. Thank you. Anyway, it's not about me, is it? Well, no, not really. No, no, no. I pick out books now, you know, because I got all. How fun is that? So, our book today <coughs> is about Lulu. Oh, did I introduce you? No. Okay. Why don't you introduce yourself? All right. Okay. Can you do that? I can. Hello. Welcome to the Whitesboro Public Library story time, and I am Miss Laura, and of course, New Lulu has already introduced herself. Anyway, okay, back to me again. All right, so what I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry. That was... I shouldn't have done that. All right, may we share the stage? Sure. Okay. Hello. Noodle! All right, I pick out the books, you know, because i got arms. And today I picked one out about a puppy. Who doesn't love puppies? A puppy who finds out that life is sweeter when you have a friend. Aw, isn't that sweet? It's a, well, it's a true fiction story about a puppy. And we, all here at the library, Sparkle and Mortimer, Minka, Bart, Reese, Rex, we all found a home here at the library and we're all really happy. So we, we wanted to share a book with you about finding a home and being happy because Life is sweeter when you share it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I pick them out, but I don't read them. It's your turn. Okay. I'll take it from here, Noodle. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Noodle, what are you doing? I'm looking, I'm looking for people, too. I, I I can't see them. Are you sure they're out there? Noodle, they are out there, and they are watching you. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. Well, I gotta go. Enjoy the book, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you, Noodle. You know, when Noodle first got here, I didn't think she was going to be as talkative as she is, but she certainly is, isn't she? Again, welcome to the Whitesboro Public Library story time. I am Miss Laura, of course Noodle, and then all of our friends have all found a home here at the library. And this book, I think, has found a home at the library. It's A Family for Louie by Alexandra Thompson. And like most of the books I like most of the books Noodle chooses to read, they're big which in lies the challenge for me. But here we go, a family for Louie. Louie considered himself a dog of fine taste. He knew all the chefs in town. Look at that pizza. He's not eating just a bowl of kibble. He is eating a nice pizza. He's waving and the chef is waving back at him. Every day, Louis explores the city, and along the way, he finds things to eat. Like, for example, breakfast. He had a tall stack of raspberry with bacon pancakes. A spicy fish taco with salsa and guacamole for lunch. And he had a plate piled high of fettuccine and meatballs for dinner. Fettuccine is... is it's a pasta, type of pasta, like spaghetti pasta. And he's a man after my own heart. He always found time for dessert. And of course, being a man of refinement, Louis also took a bath every day. He read a good book and a cup of hot cocoa. It was perfect. His day was perfect. 
big book. Can't turn pages. Not one thing was missing from Louis's life. He had everything he needed, everything. Well, maybe there was one thing he was missing. Look, this little puppy's sharing a drink with their human, and this little girl has, has a little doggy, but Louis doesn't have anyone. It might be nice to have a family, thought Louis, but he wasn't sure where to begin. How do you get a family? How do you end up? How do you find a family? The next day, Louis saw a family having a nice picnic at the beach. He thought he might like to join them. But when Louis approached, he will never guess what they were eating. They were eating jello and sardine sandwiches. Louis didn't think that was anything he wanted to have anything to do with, so he said, mm, I'll keep looking. At his favorite sushi restaurant, Louis found a family with an open seat at their table. He thought, hmm, okay, I'll go and check that out. But when he went to go and try and sit down, look, I don't think that chair is empty. <sighs> That seat wasn't empty at all. In fact, that seat had a cat in it, and that cat didn't want to have anything to do with Louie, and Louie didn't want to have anything to do with that cat, so that kind of did that in. It seemed like he would never find the right family. Everybody had a, everyone had a family except Louie. But then one day, he was feeling very blue, which means he was feeling kind of sad. He wandered down the street where he came to a brand new bakery. Oh, grand opening, look, he's never been to that bakery. There he spotted a little girl he had never seen before. And it looks like she's got cupcakes. Turn my pages. Hi there, said the little girl. I'm B. Would you like to would you like a cupcake? Suddenly, whoop, Louie felt very shy. He thought, oh. I don't know why I'm being shy. I'm looking for a family, but he did. It was it wasn't long before they became Fast friends. Look, B is pulling Louie's ear. Oh, and they're playing and they're hugging. When B introduced him to her mother, Louie tried to look well-behaved and as handsome as possible. Look, he's sitting up straight and tall. Can he come home with us, Mommy? Please, please, can he come home with us? Louie tried not to get his hopes up. He tried not to get his hopes up. And he waited, and he waited, and he tried, he waited, he waited. Can he please come home with us, Mommy? Can he please? And what seemed like forever, she agreed. She said, yes. Oh, look, group hug, group hug. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. They all. Oh, and that night, after that group hug at that night, Louis got a warm bubble bath and a home cooked meal with his new family. Look, Louis's sitting right there at the table. These guys don't sit at the table with me. And best of all, it was perfect. The end. Life is a little sweeter when you share it with friends. I know it is for me, and it is for these guys. My life is certainly enjoyable since these guys came around. You included, Noodle. Thank you. So with that, we're going to go off and make some more friends. Noodle's going to fall off the bench.
we're going to go off and make some more friends. And while we are doing that during these challenging, challenging, crazy corona times, we are going to remember to washy, 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 washy our hands. Thank you all for joining us. We will see you next week. Take care. Be safe.